Welcome back to more Awakening the Golden Age. So, just post commentary yeah. again because of circumstances. Anyway. Did we already record? I'm trying to remember if we already did this part or not. I think not, though. So, we got the feather, and now we're going to go right. make a magic potion of stuff. Oh, sure, there's a process that it'll yeah, force you to do no matter what. And with that, we turn the heart green. Because that was important? Apparently, yeah. Yeah, very Just important. <coughs> very important detail. Now we can throw the heart in here, and it'll be all like, FIXED! You have transmutated the heart! Now everything's back to normal, and we're magically outside. I'm glad there was a time delay. Armed with the truth, we made haste to return. But once we entered the borders, we discovered that the Minotaurs had already infiltrated the castle. So we're gonna go sneak in the back way that no one ever guards. What did we prove with all that? Just... Oh, we proved that uh, someone was causing a giant drought everywhere. I hope on purpose. Which reminds okay, me, I so have I thought we had proven that before, and now we just fixed it or something? Yeah, we did but... fix that. We just need to prove it, too. And now the game doesn't want to work for some reason. But it worked now, so... It's fine. The green spark is proof that the tree has been healed. You and Cedric, find a way into the castle while I watch over here. Yeah, you get the easy job. <laughs> Just, I'm just clearing the bushes because I saw a hand icon there, but it really did nothing. Well, that's a shame. Yeah. Let's see here. Adorable, Ooh. but it bites. I should try luring it away with fruit. Aw, we can't use cuddles. <laughs> no, we can't use cuddles. I'm afraid. It is a shame. That would work. We could cuddle it in that little um, flag thing we got right there, or whatever. <laughs> <coughs> three round depressions. So, okay, there's three depressed circles. I guess is what it's saying. <laughs> three circles suffer from depression, and this puzzle is pretty self-explanatory and quite easy, actually. He's got play. Move these guys to their right places using um, chess controls. Although they're not really gonna tell you which chess controls to use. I was gonna say, it's like, that seems questionable. It just kinda like picks spots that you can move to. Yeah. Whatever works. And it gives us a ball. One of three balls. Oh, speaking of one of three balls, there's two of three balls. There is something else to do there. I did not see it for a few minutes, so I actually had to use a hint to figure it out. See, this one's matched the berries based on quantity. I was gonna and say, it's it. like, wait a minute. <laughs> this seems off. But it wasn't. So there's the berries. Let's see if that'll work on getting this dude out of here. Nope, it's just like, I don't want to do that. I want to cuddle. Now it's just gonna works. poof away in the dust. And all that for a door knocker. You got a handle there. A broken old bird bath. I bet it looked beautiful when it was intact. Did we actually need something else from there? I do not believe so. Well, that works. This is the part where I'm like, where do I need to go? Hint me, please. 
Because I kind of ran out of places to go, and I was actually worried that, oh, did I break the game? Especially when I saw that there was something to do all the way in a place we haven't discovered yet. Oh, well. Just like, hey, eventually. And he's a hint, and it's like, look here. And I'm like, what? There's nothing to do here. Do I wedge something? Do I handle something? Do you want me to do something? So then I was like, oh, I'll just wait for the hint to recharge for it to tell me what to do. And the hint says... Look at this! You can do stuff with it. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. That's, that is a very cheap place to have anything happen. Yeah, it's not really, um, exactly... It doesn't even really look like something that could be there. So that's hidden object screens when they start making the mean, really mean, complicated ones. But you do 10,000 things just to find one object. Makes you miss the days when it was just find the objects. Pretty much. Waiting for me to complete the hidden object screen. This is why I don't like doing post commentary, but for this game, we really didn't have a choice. No, and that's just a shame. It, it's a, what was the problem? It was basically too good, or I do not know. I, I'm gonna guess it was too good because the animations are really intricate in this game. It's all like 3D. Pretty much. And I suppose the. Uh, 4K display does not help terribly much. <laughs> you'd think it would. Yeah, you'd think it would. It does if you're playing. It does not help much if you're recording, because the files are now really big. <laughs> As if they weren't big already. And there's the last ball. I will say, though, I am really <laughs> enjoying this 4K display. Boom! Exploding rocks. Magic door appear. Humans! We can't let them as... Is that what Longhorn? Guess. I'll take care of this. Go on ahead. Alright, we move on. He just stays there and talks to him into letting us look around for the source of the sound. That we didn't hear. And there's a kid in here. We want to get something to calm him down and the little flower thing won't work. Seems like a weird item to try to find. Find something to calm him down? What yeah. What would that be? Now wants us to find eight sun rays. But you can just move all the items out of the way. Which is nice. Let's see what else we got. We're gonna just leave the boy there terrified and move on. <laughs> Oh, and that's incredibly dull. Oh, and there's minotaurs out there. So we don't want to go that way, it looks like. It was a quick sharpening. Yep, and then we just cut down the gate, and it's like, boom, hidden objects. <laughs> Alrighty, then. This isn't even like a hidden object screen, it's just... Mainly it's a big like... room with a bunch of armor that you need to find a few items of. <laughs> it seems this is like the most normal room to have an in object screen ever. Yeah. Wait, how do you tell the swords apart from everything else in here? That's the one part where it gets a little tricky. Whoops, and then like, I leave. All of these things could be swords, I mean, or are they knives, or what could they possibly be? A carp they could be a knife sharpener for all we know. <laughs> but I found them all. The one magic sword of truth. Or something like that. Right. Let's see, we got a Who puts a grappling hook in the drawer? Like that. Just random grappling hook in the hall drawer. And now, 
The ladies complain that there's no time to play around with this. Well, it doesn't matter because I don't have all the items for it yet either. No biggie. We can't take his hammer though. We're gonna have to give him his sword eventually, but I did not think of that quite yet. Yeah. Locked. So, hang on, use your saw, little man. Thank you. I don't understand why. We're supposed to calm him down, yet we're gonna go right by him and saw open the lock. <laughs> yeah, we're not very helpful. No, we are not helpful at all. That, that seems to be the theme of these games sometimes. Yeah. Anyway. Well, let's finally calm him down after we get rid of the big rusty hook. And throw in some tea, please. Throw in the tea. Throw in the thank you. Whenever One I have to watch these on my own, whenever I watch these on my own, I always complain to myself about uh, how uh, I should do something earlier. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Did that, did that fire just like magically combust? No. Remember, remember, Cedric can make fires, so he did that for us. Yeah, tea I see just enough me? like. Thank you, miss. Snippets of scenes to make I it look like... I'm just scullion, my lady. I peel potatoes, like, scrape the fire pots, started. clean up. I Earlier tonight, that. I was climbing the ladder to the cellar when a frantic maid rushed in. Hoopos flew in with news of the Minotaur raid at a village, Is she said. Is British? Why do you want tea? <laughs> Warning bells startled everyone in the kitchen. Guards came running. Guards. Oh, no, the in the castle. Right. Time to evacuate, <laughs> he announced. Oh, there you go. Now you gotta find the guard. We followed and saw them close the passage to the tower behind the suits of armor. That was smart. So you just track his movement. I know for sure that it leads to the throne room. It should still be locked. I hope the king and queen are okay. Oh, they're fine. While running, I tripped on an exotic rug. Nobody noticed in the chaos, and I got left behind. Why do we need to say it's an exotic rug? Could you just say rug? I tried to catch up, passing some no, guards with crossbows, headed for the throne room. <coughs> a horn sounded from somewhere. When I turned a corner, I saw the Minotaurs had a bunch of people rounded up. Someone saw me, and I ran. I could hear them coming after me. With nowhere else to go, I hid behind a curtain. Miraculously, they didn't notice me. Well, that's lucky. I couldn't see. So I listened well, he hard, is small and noticed important. the outside sounds were different. There was no sword fighting, only shouting. The battle was lost. The North Tower door was sealed up magically. There oh, should be wow, a way into the throne room from there. <laughs> I wonder if he's a the North Tower. Oh. I wonder if he's a descendant of that creepy professor from that Day and Nightstone game. With that <laughs> same similar creepy smile. Well, in that case, that same creepy professor named his kid Kitchen Boy, so... <laughs> or it could be a young version of the creepy professor, maybe, <laughs> I don't know. Because the game, this game does, I believe this game would probably take place before that game. Because Dan Nightstone is set in modern times, this is like... The... I forget what we said this time period was. We mentioned it in one video a long time ago. I know, and I forget. I need to remember what game we mentioned in it. Is it this one? Is it the one before this one? How, how many things do you have to adjust in this picture? <coughs> All of them. And there, that's good. Open the secret oh, passage. Up the stairs. And that's just saying, congratulations, you know how to rob rooms. We need to get down there. Did you find anything we you could are not use, Sasha? Anywhere. <laughs> Alrighty, there we go. Hey, hey, hey. Look. Thanks. Look. <laughs> are you ready? General Blacktail, stop! What's this? Well, we just You're being tricked, General. Claudius is the traitor here. He caused the drought. 
but we've stopped it, and here's the proof. We're gonna just wave the little lily, like that. A green spark. It didn't help. The drought has ended. Guardius, what's the meaning of this? No. If I can't have the throne, no one shall have it. I shall admit my bad deeds immediately. And send us to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> now we gotta beat him through a game of Simon Says. Wait, really? Yeah. <coughs> but you can't see all the things. The trick is, you got you can't see all the things, but the game has a minor glitch that the programmers left out. The, uh, wherever the icons are, even if you can't see them on screen, they still show the sparkle animation outside of it. So you will still see where you're supposed to click. So I suppose you just have to be more attentive. That works. And there, we won. That was a really short battle, and he's just like, Oh, I'm defeated! No! Ugh. I thought I had Claudius was tried really and I'm banished to the farthest idiotic. prison in the land. At least I get this pigeon. Oh, <laughs> no, I pigeon lost my left. <laughs> the Minotaurs, grateful for the help in uncovering Claudius's treachery, helped rebuild the kingdom. As for me, after all the celebrations, I finally found myself back home. And that's that, a really short game. And it really moves too fast in my opinion. What is this? Episode... 4 or 5 and we're already done. Not yeah, even... it seems like... <coughs> I don't know, your average hidden object game where... You know, just kind of like put together pretty quickly just for random people is usually like two hours, four episodes, but... Yeah. Seriously. <sighs> it's not even two hours. It's hour 51 right. on the clock right there. <clears throat> kind of ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, definitely not one of the better Awakening games, I must say. In fact, uh... <laughs> <laughs> it would probably have been better if we would be, we were able to play it like straight through more quickly, but I don't know. I mean, you and I did play it straight through when, um, when it came out a couple. Wow, has it already been a couple years? Yeah, it's well. been a couple years since this game was made. Wow. Uh, yeah, when I played through a couple years ago, it still felt too fast and too rushed. I definitely oh, well. would probably say it's <clears throat> the second worst Awakening game we've done. I mean, because the, an the animations yeah. are pretty cool. They use 3D characters this time around. But Let's just say this is like the Shadow Medallion of the Awakening series. <laughs> we could say that. It really is. Because, I mean, yeah, the, ter the most terrible one was is still by far Skyward Castle. Remember that game? I didn't catch the name of that, actually. Uh, Skyward Castle. Awakening Skyward Castle. I tell you what, I'm glad that we're done because the internet's dying, so... Well, it's good, so <laughs> thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>